Okay, so we've got blown HJ out of the showroom and back into the workshop. Uh, probably about six months ago, we took the car out for some seat time to Heathcote and it shut itself down, or, or Mark shut it down. Since then, we pulled the engine apart. We thought it was internally, um, and we didn't find anything. So, one good thing is, this engine may have had 60 to 80 sets of tyres, which is pretty good for an engine lifespan. So, we give it a freshen up. So, essentially, the engine's it's, uh, pretty new. So, uh, what we did discover, we think it was an MSD box the issue was. So, we've also gone and put a new MSD box in the car. Um, we thought, why we've gone to a new combo? So, it's obviously, we went mechanical injection um, about 12 months ago, and we haven't done a lot with it. We thought we'd go to a full exhaust system. You might ask, why go full exhaust? Um, a few things. So, Warbird is straight out pipes. Yes, it's loud, shakes the ground, but you've got no blower noise. So, when you just dump the pipes out, you lose all that blower wind. So what we're going to try and achieve with blown HJ is get that uh, that engine noise and the blower noise, so to get it to really squeal. So we've gone ahead and got all the, uh, the exhaust stuff. So the boys are going to get up in the air, throw some pipes at the back, and hopefully we get this uh, this thing screaming. All right, guys, we're here with Blown HJ, just fitting the exhaust up to it and getting that ready to fab, fab up. So, headers are done, thank God. I don't have to do anything on that. So we're going from a three and a half inch X pipe. It's gonna fit snugly up, up here just near the gearbox cross member. That'll transition into a four inch pipe and just go straight out. No mufflers, no cats, nice and simple. So, all the parts here, laid out here. We've got the three and a half inch bends here. X pipe we've made out of that. These nice three and a half inch four bolt flanges. We, flanges, we use them wherever possible. So I'm chuck on a couple of these adjustable exhaust hangers. They're really good. And a couple more pipes over here, just step it up, give it a little bit more ground clearance, and that's about it. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon.
Alrighty guys, so pretty much got the X-pipe all tacked up, ready to go. Um, just give these tacks a bit of a clean up, get it all nice and cleaned up and then put a few welds on it and come back and fit it up and finish the rest off. Okay guys, we've got the X-pipe pretty much all welded up, ready to go back in. But before we do that, I'll just give you guys a rundown on what, what bends we used here. So we've got two 90 degree bends here. This is all made out of three and a half inch too. Two 90 degree bends here right where the junction is for the crossover pipe. And two 180 degree bends. We use a lot of them. Um, we've made the whole X-pipe, two of these, and we've still got a little bit left over. So the reason for an X-pipe is performance, basically. Much better exhaust flow. It creates a Venturi effect and helps scavenge exhaust gases from the cylinder after they've been burnt, making room for all that air fuel mixture, which is all the good stuff. So we've got a little experiment to show you guys exactly what happens here. So. And that's exactly what's going on. It's helping gas from this side is helping draw gas from this side. Gas from this side is helping draw gas from this side. Okay guys, so we got the X-pipe all bolted back in. Um, got a little bend up here, a couple of flanges on. So this pipe here, the X-pipe's all three and a half inch. We're going to four inches. We've got a couple of bends back there. So we need to transition from three and a half to four inch. So just take a couple of off cuts here and flare them out to four inches and just basically tack it in place there, take all this off, cut it back, weld it up. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, back here on Blown HJ and everything's done. All the welding is done, got these power pipes here, all fully done, hangers on them, ready to go. We're going to fit this thing up and give her a kick in the guts and see what she sounds like, so don't go anywhere.
All right, so we threw Maddie, one of the Roger boys, in the seat of Blind HJ. We turned the tire to see what this thing would sound like. At Isle, yeah, we had blower noise. As soon as we got on the gas and put them up, yeah, up, all the noise started bouncing off the wall. So, did it work? Did it not work? Not sure. I think the best way to find out would be getting on a burnout pad, blow some tires off. So, I think it's probably time we uh, give Barry Hall a call, see if he wants to get back in it, and put on a show. <laughs> 